traditional wedding season is here. In today's video, I'm going to be making two different cards for a friend who has two family weddings practically within the same time frame. Just a couple of weeks, he said. So here we go. This is my paper pad. It's got some really beautiful colors. And as you can see, I have a plethora of goodies that I'm going to be deciding what to use on which card. I don't want to give myself too much to choose from because then I'll get all anxious. <laughs> have you been there? I've got flowers and I've got extra. These are really nice. Um, I bought these originally for my granddaughter's wedding. She had a nice little civil ceremony uh, last year, but this year she's going to have a big blowout wedding, so I need to make her another card too, but that's another video. And I've chosen my pieces. There's all kinds, there's kind of like a, a beautiful bluish gray, and then there's gold, and there's a muted pink. There's just all kinds of beautiful colors in here. And I'm going to be using some cut aparts. And I found this lovely doily. I thought that would be very cute. And of course, here are my card bases. Let's go ahead and do those. These are 100 pound. I can fold them over and just use my thumb to burnish them down. Or I can use my bone folder. Like so. Okay, so there's those. And let's go ahead and cut out the cut aparts. I can decide which one to use. I'm cutting off the top with that little hole where they hang it. So here's four. Okay, along the line or as close as possible. here. This is the only piece I have. This is Blushing Bride and it's a nice pale pink that I think would go perfect for that. So let's do... And this will leave us some to do matting on something else. So do we want to emboss this or not? 
the embossing folder I used last time? Or should we pick a rose? Roses. Hmm. This one's pretty. Butterflies and birds. So let's go ahead and emboss this. So sorry about that. I did not realize that was in the way. There's that. And so we're going to cut this at three and a half. By four and three quarters so we can get more of that beautiful embossing like so I have a little piece of gold here. We can try it out and see. I want to measure this first. Three by. It's three by three, so three and a quarter. That's a little too big, isn't it, for that one? Let's see. Let's try this one. Beautiful. That's almost as big as the, oh, huh? That's cute. Not too frilly, just perfect. So let's go ahead and put that together.
There's plenty of room for embellishment here, so let's do that. If I can find it. There we are. Shall we? Hmm. Beautiful. Okay. Let's go ahead and stamp the inside of the card. Now, I didn't have any specific wedding. Let's, let's do it this way. If I have a little smear here, I'm going to turn it over. I went ahead and found a live fully, la live fully, laugh often, and love deeply because I don't have any specific wedding. And I'm going to be using my Versafine Onyx Black Ink. Right in the middle there. Okay. Now I'm also going to be putting a rose in the corners and I'm going to be using my Blushing Bride ink from Stampin' Up. When my stamps don't want to stick very well, I go ahead and put some uh, temporary adhesive on them and that's what's happening here and I definitely don't want to ruin my card. Even though it's just a card base, and that's one reason why I stamp in the inside first. Okay, let's put some paper over here so I don't make too much of a mess. And I'm just going to do the rose part of it, not the leaves. Okay, and same thing on the other side. All right, so there's that. And now we can attach the front. Now, because I put these on, uh, I should have put them on after I had, uh, had attached the front. It's gonna be a little bumpy. But don't do what I just did. Go ahead and wait <laughs> till you put the card front on. And I'm going to be adding some enamel dots now, too. Okay. I found some that I thought matched perfectly. They'll stick. Hmm. Okay. Maybe not. Now I need my glue. I'm going to just dot a little bit here. Maybe. There we go. Okay. Luckily, it dries clear. So, that will be that. Okay, now, hopefully one of the littler ones will stick. Nope. That one, not either. Okay. Okay. I don't have... I have my little quick stick. And there we go. Okay. Okay, there's my first card. Let's... Stamp the inside of the second card. And 
All right, here we are. You know how something can be right in front of you, but you don't see it. Oh, there's a spot there, so let's turn this over. See, I'll just cover that up and stamp in here. Perfect. Now we're going to do the same thing with the roses. Actually, let me wait until I decide what I'm going to use for the front. Then I'll put the rose in that color, if that makes sense. Okay, so we have that stamped. Oops. All right. C four. By five and a quarter. Oh, yeah. Gotta be careful. My fingerprints will show on here. I'm going to emboss that. This is directional. So I'm going to do the smaller first. So that would be three and three quarters by five. cute. And do we want to, what do we want to put here? For, so we have a black tie. So I think we can mat this in black. Wow. Yeah, that'll stand out really nice, won't it? So let's see again how big this is. Let's do three and three and an eighth by yeah. Perfect. I think it draws in nicely because we have the shoes in this pattern paper and we have the shoes in the uh, we have the shoes in the cut apart I just had another idea. I do have some vellum in here, so let's, let's look at that.
How's that? Can you even tell it's there? <laughs> I think that's pretty. Okay. We're going to pop this up because I don't have any more. I do have one, but we're going to pop it up anyway. Okay, so this is attached. So let's go ahead and attach this. Part one, and then we're going to put it on here. Uh, not quite. I'm going to make this just a tad bigger, I think. Let's go to three and a quarter. Okay, so we're good. Okay. Perfect. Okay, good deal. I think I'm going to try to sparkle up the boat, the, um, the ribbon here. My clear wink of Stella. I'm going to use my clear wink of Stella on the, the, the ribbon around the dresses. Very subtle, but it's there. Okay, let's see if it's even noticeable. Eh, not much. <laughs> okay, so let's, should we pop that up? Let's do, let's do the, uh, the flowers with the wink of Stella. There we go. Okay, just a little bit. Okay, yeah, my friend had to go back east for both of the weddings. But I will give these to him so he can mail them to them. One will be after the fact, but I think I can get these to him to take with him for the other one. Okay, there we go. 
I don't have a smudge this time on this one. But I can keep it that way, I hope. Okay, good. Now let's go over here. Perfect. Now we're going to attach this. dance and here's a little heart okay there are the two cards that I made for my friend for his family members thank you so much for joining me and we will see you soon bye bye